Here's a student that uh, came to see me recently and like a lot of folks has a inside move on the backswing where the club gets significantly behind his hands and as a result he lays it uh, well, crosses the line pretty significantly and then from there it's a steep move that he sorts out pretty well and the fella hits it pretty nice but handles really high and there's not a whole lot of club face control there because the motion to the golf ball, <clears throat> excuse me, shaft gets steep. Here's the steep, steep shaft right there, way, way inside the golf ball. And then on the way down, he's talented enough to find it, strike it pretty well, and hit some good shots. Um, career best round 78, and looking to get a little bit better. So, trying to simplify his path, we take on this little exercise. It's a two part drill. Here is right arm only to the top. You can see how much more laid off that looks right there compared to where he was in the previous swings. <clears throat> so on the way down, so he's at the top, and I get him to pause for just a moment. And from there, I ask him to reach with his left hand and find the golf club, pause for a moment, and go ahead and hit a shot. And what you'll see is a much more direct path compared to this before swing that gets the club much more steeper. So the right arm only drill to a pause and then let's go back and review this. Right arm only drill to a pause at the top. Find the club with the left hand. Make sure it's comfortable. And then go ahead and hit a shot. And this fellow was talented enough that he hit most of these shots pretty hard solidly after doing this. After the teacher uh, sculled and skanked quite a few. So pretty good strike there, low point, nice exit. And after you can do the right arm only and then get the left hand reaching for it, go ahead and take two hands. And here's the fellow doing it again, right hand only. As a feel, I'll go back, there's the right hand only, much more laid off, but it's not really laid off. This is about a three quarter swing. And then, then the, to the top with a subtle pause to feel it. So that's a significantly different position than where he gets a little double cocked here with that left wrist and way, way across the line. And then on the way down, it's a very direct on-plane effort. And this is in a short period of time here. He's able to collect Whitey pretty nicely and hit some solid shots. So excellent little drill if you've got that inside move and across the line. Again, to recap... The idea is to go ahead and start off right hand only. So get it to the top right hand only, and you'll notice where this shaft is pointing now, pointing off to the left field as opposed to wickedly across the line. Now from here you'll want to reach with your left hand. Get your left hand and then reach for the grip, which will really turn your shoulders probably deeper than you have in a while. And then once you get that on there, you can go ahead and take a swing. And I ask guys to pause for a second to kind of feel it, to see if they still have the shaft pointing over to left field. Take a moment and then hit it. And this is a slow-mo, so I'll speed this up a little bit, or I'll just let it play out. So he kind of gives a little, little pump to feel some power, and then he hits it, hits a nice strong shot. So it's a great drill if you're inside and get across the line.